the biggest issue, I guess, that I've been through personally um, is there was actually a derailment in my community. Um, and it happened like three blocks from my house. So it was really scary. Um, it didn't explode, but you know, it made a big loud boom and a lot of people heard it. And there are residents who live nearby that are walking around wondering what had happened. My primary area that I focus on that affects me directly is oil trains because I live on an oil train route or in other words in the blast zone. Um, and then the Enbridge pipeline corridor going through Wisconsin, um, the four pipelines. Um, and so I've gotten involved in that fight also because oil trains and pipelines are often pitted against each other no, it's not either rail or pipeline, that there are dangers to both and that, you know, we need other options. So this is just a very dangerous situation. Um, you know, I'd already presented to my city council um, like seven months before this and, you know, was warning them that this could happen. So, you know, the whole time when I'm watching you know, all these people walking around by these derailed tankers, I'm thinking, oh my God, am I gonna watch these people blow up in front of me, you know? It was, it was very horrible and traumatic. <laughs>